From October 14th to the 18th, a team of three Americans and one Australian visited Faisalabad, Pakistan, to support local, local churches with revival services. I was one of those Americans. The attraction to go to Pakistan? To reach the unreached people of the world for Christ. Pakistan belongs to the so-called 1040 window, a section of the globe in la between latitudes where Muslims are concentrated. In some of those countries, the gospel is completely banned. In Pakistan, the gospel is tolerated. Christians there represent less than 2% of the population and suffer persecution. Sometimes they get attacked. Sometimes they get excluded from jobs. Grenades get thrown into their church buildings occasionally, usually on Easter or Christmas. When notified that we would be in town, the local authorities wanted to leave no opportunity to any would-be terrorists and assigned 10 elite cops with AK-47s and shotguns to escort us everywhere. They guarded the perimeters and even stood menacingly on the platform. They became our friends. As a high school teacher, I was keen to see the school led by Pastor Sarfraz, our host. The school is an important piece in the strategy for evangelism. Due to a religious discrimination, Christians get excluded from the best jobs. Helping Christians get degrees gives them a shot at better employment. For his kingdom. Yeah. So you want to put your trust in Jesus Christ. Because Jesus Christ is coming back very soon. And our job is to let people know how much Jesus loves them. duty is coming. We have to tell our friends that Jesus is coming soon. The Potter's House School building was finished a year ago. We came to celebrate its first anniversary. This school is especially important to girls. Without resources and without hope, many of these girls would otherwise be limited to domestic work where they are vulnerable to exploitation. Or they could marry a Muslim and be forced to concert, convert to Islam. The alternative is the brickyards. Here Christians, both men and women, labor for pennies in knee-breaking work under the hot sun. It's a job that not many want, and so it's open to Christians. Here in the brick fields, everyone seems to be a Christian. To make a brick, you must grab a loaf-sized clump of moist earth rich in clay. Pastor Umar used to do this line of work, and here he asks the worker for a chance to show his old skills. There are red bricks baked in ovens at other yards. The earthen bricks, which are cheaper and weaker, get baked in long rows by the sun. <laughs> Man, What's disturbing is that children can be found working alongside their parents. The phenomenon is due to poverty and the lack of enforcement of Pakistan's child labor laws. This little guy, for some reason, was the only one to ignore calls to a break to hear Pastor Tim Moynihan share the gospel. He continued his work. He barely noticed me and seemed uninterested. 
The gospel is one way we can free kids from the brickyards. Pastor Sarfraz wants to build a dormitory to house, clothe, and feed kids from the brickyards. They would be enrolled in a school which is offered free of tuition. But for now, that vision is only a far-off dream that remains to be seen how it might get funded.